Today, I'm taking some plants to my island. I have two banana trees, a few pineapple things, a bunch of citronella grass, a bunch of different varieties of grass. And we're just gonna see what'll grow. I have a couple little papaya trees. Hopefully they'll do something. They're hard to transplant, they die a lot. And then I have some golf course grass, just a little tiny sprig of it. It's nice because you don't have to, it doesn't get tall or anything. It just stays real short. It's easy to deal with. And bugs don't live in it. Also, I've sharpened the front edge and the back edge of a machete. Just just the end part, because that's the part that cuts. It doesn't matter back here. I think I'm gonna do some grass cutting. There's me island. I've been doing a lot of work on this island just to prep it for my vision. And now planting some food plants. It already has a bunch of food plants on it. I'm planting some more. It doesn't have any bananas. Well, it has one little banana tree that I planted a month ago. But I want to get a lot more food stuff growing there. All right, step one, citronella grass. It's supposed to keep bugs away. beauty okay it's the last citronella and this is where I need to cut out all this grass man it's a little overgrown hey visitor oh nothing left that only took like an hour and a half uh, that guy probably doesn't have much chance we'll see though spread the citronella all over the place. Perhaps with enough of these citronella grasses, I won't need so many bug fires. Well, not so many. I have one. Hmm, another papaya. Oh, there's a banana right over there. Those bananas were not looking in good shape. So hopefully they'll do better over here. So this is the low part of the island. It's not much above sea level. We're going to go up here gets a lot higher up there. I'm gonna see if I can trim some of that grass with my sharpened machete.
All right, so up here at the top, there are fruits in these trees. There are also some other fruits, but these are the most common things. There's almost, almost always some of these available. They're called cocoa plums, or local here, local people here call them ikakao, or something like that. Anyway, they look, that one's rotten. Well, they look a lot better than they taste. They kind of taste like nothing. Yeah, mostly like nothing. No, it's not rotten. They feel like marshmallow, but just no flavor. But they're edible. And they have a nut inside that's not bad when you roast it. Hmm. I guess I could do some mowing up here. Oh, I have some oranges. Hold on, I'll show you. So this tree here was totally smothered by this vine up here. I ripped it down. I can't reach up there yet. I'll have to get a ladder or something. Anyway, I ripped it down off down here and suddenly I'm getting all these oranges. This side of the island has kind of a nice view. Here's my enormous mango tree. It's all cleared out now, so I can get to the mangoes more easily. But the mangoes are done for the year. I don't know, do they come out once or twice a year? They're done for now, anyway. So I think I want to put my house uh, right over here, which just looks like a bunch of leaves right now. It'd be nice if this grass took over a little. It looks like nice grass. So, to answer a few questions, why do I care about grass? Well. Standing on grass is nicer than standing on mud. And plus the citronella grass keeps bugs away. What's the other question? What do I think about when I'm hacking through the jungle endlessly or digging endlessly and all that stuff? I think about a giant robot workshop and the robot I'm gonna build in it with my newfound fiberglassing skills and a bunch of other things that I've gained in the last, I don't know, decade. Oh, that's going to be fun. First, I need to do a lot of stuff before I have a workshop ready for that. All right, I better go work. Also, I need to figure out what in this camera attracts mosquitoes. Because if I turn the camera on and put it somewhere, it always has a couple of mosquitoes around it. If I could figure out what it is and put that in a mosquito trap, oh, those suckers would be endangered then. So I started working on stuff just after breakfast, like eight or nine or something. And uh, I was doing some stuff and just getting real tired. Man, I'm like, oh, I gotta keep going, gotta keep going. What am I, some kind of wimp? And uh, I was like, man, it's, it's gotta be getting close to lunch. Maybe that's, I'm just hungry and you know, uh, but man, I should be able to go longer than that. So I radioed home and I was like, hey guys, what time is it? And they're like, it's after three. This, this happens, like, a lot. All right, I gotta go. I think I'll do another hour and go eat. I've just been informed there are cheeseburgers at home. Oh, and I just cut down a bunch of plantains, so I'm gonna make some fries. Oh, this is gonna be so good after I get clean. Oh, it's a good thing there's an ocean around here. Oh, come on, cheese babas. Cheese babas. You know what? Let's be up.